Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in thy way and walk in thy ways, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins, to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the word of God to all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and with thy spirit. That's peace. Peace. <laughs> peace be with you. Yield my time to the spokespersons from your administration for the announcement. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. We are really happy to have Father Perry back with us again. Uh, just a couple of things to keep in mind. Our diocesan convention is going to be virtual this year, and we're looking for delegates. And I need to send the registration in by December 15th. So it will be here, and if someone is interested, I will get your name right after the service or email Judy. Uh, today, we have the privilege of hosting Blood Assurance. Uh, it looks like they're by appointment only. It's not too late if you're watching this soon to make an appointment for today. And can you think of anything else? Just a blessing to be here. It's just a blessing to be here. Ascribe to the Lord the honor to his name, bring offerings and come into his courts. things come of thee, O Lord, and 
and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. We continue with the great thanksgiving on page 333. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, because thou didst send thy beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name evermore, praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue, a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. <clears throat> For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, According to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make, here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and death, precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And please, if you like, join me for this next paragraph. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and 
living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we, and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion, may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy, through our manifold sins, to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members in corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs to hope of Thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech Thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with Thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as Thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with Thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The peace of God which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you, and remain with you always. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.